This is Geometry, Chapter 11, Section 2, in which we will study the areas of trapezoids, rhombi, and kites. We remember from studying trapezoids earlier this year that a trapezoid has two bases that are parallel to each other. Those two sides, those two bases, are useful in finding the area because the formula for a trapezoid is one-half times the sum of the two bases times the height. In symbols, it would be one-half times base one plus base two times height. Okay. Notice these two sides out here, the two legs, don't have anything to do with finding the area. The bases are always the two that are parallel to each other and the height is always perpendicular to the two bases. The only thing these would be used for is if they told us like an angle down here or something, if we had to do Pythagorean like we did last time, or use trig like we did last time with the uh, parallelograms. That would be the only use for these sides. So let's find the area of a trapezoid here. We have a trapezoid, we have the two bases, and we have the height, so we have everything we need. We can just plug straight into the formula. One half times 72 plus 85 times 38. Punch that into my calculator, being careful to use parentheses, and I get 2,983 square inches. That's not too bad. Now when we deal with a rhombus or with a kite, either one, the formula works the same way for both of them. It's multiply the diagonals and then take half, or one half times the product of the diagonals. You could say it a lot of different ways. Now your note sheet, I know it doesn't print in color, but on the screen here I do have it colored for you. Okay. D1 is the entire diagonal across here, and D2 is the entire diagonal going across this way. Okay. And the key is it's the whole distance across that we're looking at. One half times D1 times D2. So let's find a couple of areas of these. Okay. They've told me that this segment is 6 millimeters, and this is congruent to this. Okay, they've got them marked that way. So we know this entire diagonal is 12. Similarly, we know this is 7, and they're congruent, so this side is 7, so the entire diagonal this way is 14. 1 half times 12 times 14. Calculator does the heavy lifting and comes up with 84 square millimeters. Now, sometimes they like to give it the uh, diagonals to you this way, as in the second problem over here, where they don't look like they're telling you the information you need. They're telling you it's from here to here, well that's the same as this. It may not quite look like it, but it's an optical illusion. It really is the right size. And so is this. So they've given us the diagonals straight out. So we're just going to plug those into the formula and do a little arithmetic and find out that the area is 72 square inches. One last thing to uh, point out to you, if you look on page 792 in your book, they have a table with all of these area formulas from last time and this time. If you're the kind of person who likes to have it all in one place, there's plenty of space left here on your note sheet, so you can put all of those into one table. If you're comfortable having them in multiple places and you can flip back and forth in your notes, that's fine with me. I just wanted to draw your attention to the fact that they're there so you can use them 
if you wish. You can get it all into one place or you can have it separated out. Whatever you're the most comfortable with. If you had questions along the way, hopefully you wrote those down. Bring them in with you and we'll see you in class.